So what are you wearing these days, and do those clothes fit you well? Hey friends, it's Pastor Mike from Fellowship Church. Always enjoy connecting with you midweek. Welcome to some wonderful spring weather, huh? Uh, we had such a great sunny, warm weather over the course of the weekend, and then things got cold again. It'll be warm sometime soon. That question for you again, friends, what are you wearing these days, and do those clothes fit you well? I want to start with you thinking about Jesus' clothes from the Bible, and then we'll talk about our clothes a bit. What do you remember about what Jesus wore? Well, throughout much of his ministry, he probably was dressed like any other man of his day. They wore some robes and those kinds of things. When Jesus was nearing death on the cross, the soldiers put a purple robe on him as if to mock him. I remember when Jesus was actually being crucified, that it said that he had a, the soldiers found that he had a tunic, but the tunic wasn't like a, it wasn't a knit together tunic, it, there were no seams in it. It was woven from top to bottom. One of those little details that we would pass right over. What it means is that somebody spent a lot of money on a tunic and then gave it to Jesus as a gift. Be really interesting to know a little bit more about that story when we get to heaven. That was a beautiful gift for Jesus. And then of course, Jesus had grave clothes on. Not a whole lot in the Bible about Jesus' clothes, but here's something the Bible tells us about our clothes. If you read through the book of Isaiah at all, the Bible says, friends, that you and I have been given a garment of salvation. Now think about that for a minute. You and I have been given a garment of salvation because of what Jesus did for us, because he died on the cross to save us from our sins, and that salvation is now given to us as a gift of grace. We now have a garment of salvation. That's Old Testament. If you go to the New Testament, Galatians chapter 3, I think it's verse 27, says that you and I have been clothed with Christ. Now think about that for a moment as well. It means that the clothes that we put on, or somehow the way that we're dressed, is Jesus-like. So here's what those two verses get me thinking about. I wonder what you're wearing these days, and I wonder if it fits. Because here's something I know about clothes. It's one of the first things that people see about you. There might be some other things that people see about you. They might recognize your face or, or recognize your demeanor, the look on your face, new hair, do something. But more often than not, when people see us, one of the first things they see is what we're wearing. So here's what the Bible wants you to be wearing. First of all, the Bible says we should be wearing that garment of salvation, meaning we know that because Jesus died on the cross, we now have this garment of salvation that we get to wear. It doesn't come because of anything that we earned, anything that we did. It's been given to us by grace. You and I are secure in our future because of it. But here's the harder piece of that. That Galatians passage, when it says that you and I have been clothed with Christ, I wonder if the people who know you and the people who spend time around you, I wonder if when they look at you, they see Jesus' clothes. Not the same things that Jesus wore. No, 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 no. Literally, Jesus himself. The, the way that the Bible describes you and I living our Christian life is that Jesus Christ is such a part of our outward life that when people see us, they see Jesus. It's almost like we're wearing Jesus for the day. Wouldn't that be a cool thought if somebody noticed that about you this week? But here's the question. What are you wearing these days? Because you have to decide to put on Jesus for your clothing. What are you wearing these days and do those clothes fit you well? Friends, just a few things for you to keep in mind. I sure hope that you're wearing that garment of salvation, and I sure hope that you're wearing Jesus these days too. Hope you have a wonderful week. Hope you're staying warm in this cool but soon to be warm weather. Hope you got the right clothes on this week, friends. Know that we love you and we're praying for you. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.